People have been asking for it and it's finally here. This is my full Funko Pop collection video. There, you're going to see a lot of other items within this video as well, but you know, people want to see the pop, so that's all that I'm going to focus on as, as far as calling things out, you know, but uh, you know, like I said, you will see a lot of other things that I have within my collection as well, but I'm only going to address the pop figure. So I do hope you enjoy this video. You'll get to see, you know, everything that I have right now. There have been some pops that have come and gone from my collection just because of space and then also sometimes for financial reasons. I won't lie about that, you know, but uh, yeah, this is going to be all of the pops that I have at the time of this recording so let's go ahead and get into it so starting off here with what's been my background recently on my channel this is my walking dead collection here so i have the very first pop that i ever bought here morgan you know that's the first one in my collection then i got the well walker i got almost every version of daryl except for i think the biker daryl that's not on the bike and i might get that one just to be a completionist got carol there rick grimes Michonne with the sword, which is the one that I prefer. Got Glenn and Abraham there. Got the blood splattered Negan, and yeah, so it's intentional to have all those close together. Got the burning walker back there. Got Tyrese with the, the bite mark on his arm, Hot Topic exclusive. Then I had this out of box walker, which I got from my local comic book shop, and uh, they had it for sale out of box just for a couple of bucks, so I figure why not kind of round out the collection there. So Again, that's the main shelf that I've been using as the backdrop on my channel. And then some people have been able to see up here that I have some DC Mystery Mini. So, yeah, obviously up here this is a DC Focus. Before I get to those, though, you do see a custom figure here made by Sherry Stover, a good friend of mine that actually made me as a pop figure. So, yeah, pretty good representation of me. And you're going to see a couple of her customs in this video, including this Battle Damage Superman there which I really gotta find a better spot for. I just, it's kinda crowded up here. So with these DC figures, and I'm gonna, not gonna name every single one here, but you will see over here to the left hand side is a Suicide Squad focus, including the metallic two pack of Harley Quinn and uh, Joker there. And I really wanted this because I couldn't find this version of Joker, but I do have him now there as well. Got that from a friend. So I think I have all of the Suicide Squad figures. I did have Enchantress. Um, I ended up getting rid of that one. Wasn't really concerned about her. I like her better as the Rock Candy figure. And she just wasn't a very fitting villain in the movie. So I wasn't worried about keeping the pop or the mystery minis. And I also don't have the, uh, the grenade damage Joker or whatever it's called. So other than that, I do have you know the Suicide Squad figures, including Dr. Harleen and... Uh, where is he at? Joker in the suit. Those Walmart exclusives. Then with the Justice League, I have the two latest from the Legion of Collectors. I got the Aquaman with the water rising around him. Steppenwolf. I got Bruce Wayne there, the Summer Convention exclusive. Okay, also got the Flash there. And, well, there again from Suicide Squad. That's uh, the Joker as Batman, which is pretty cool. Got Batman from Justice League. Aquaman with the mother box which is really cheap on Walmart's website right now from the Wonder Woman movie of course got Wonder Woman the common there then got the Diana Prince version of her her in her civilian clothing with the shield Batman versus Superman got some figures over here too got the armored Batman the aqua colored Aquaman the metallic two-pack of Batman and Superman the glow-in-the-dark two-pack of Batman and Superman Wonder Woman from Batman vs. Superman, and then also Nightmare Batman. So, that is the top shelf there. Like I said, we got some other items to the side. I'm not going to call all these off. But let's go ahead and go to the bottom shelves here. Got the Hellboy common figure, also the Hellboy chase figure, then some other chases next to those. Got the Riddler Chase, Joker with Kisses Chase figure, Dipper Pies and Bill Cipher Chase figures from Gravity Falls. Also got the Mr. Meeseeks Chase figure and Punisher Chase figure. And by the way, I'm not crazy that Crystal Heisenberg is out of box just because the box was damaged. The seller was no good, so I learned my lesson there. That was kind of early on with me collecting, but it's all good. I still like that pop regardless. Got Crumbopulous Michael also here from Rick and Morty. Got Weaponized Morty, Weaponized Rick right below him. 
Next to Weaponized Rick, we got their Tinkles with Ghost in a Jar. Then they got Mr. Meeseeks with the Meeseeks box and the common Mr. Meeseeks there. Those two, I like them out of box as well. Over here, we got Scare Glow and also the Flocked Pink Scooby Doo, which was a pop up uh, shop exclusive. Okay, so that's that shelf there. Now we're all the way at the bottom of this bookcase. So we got Goku with the Flying Nimbus. We got Shenron there, the colored Shenron, not the uh, gold version, which uh, I just like this one, so I don't know about the gold one. Um, got some Pop Asia figures here, including these Monkey King figures. So got the Freddy Funko Monkey King, the original Monkey King, then also the Ivory and Silver and Black. And I do want to try to get the others as well. From Shaolin Legends there, we got the Wu-Tang Priest. Wu-Tang! Definitely like that one. Got Merlion there, the ivory colored Merlion. There is another one, I think a Sunburst one or something like that. Over here we got Gudetama, which I got into kind of early on in my collecting and I went ahead and got all three. So, got Gudetama there lying on the yoke, Hot Topic exclusive. Gudetama with the bacon shawl and then the original Gudetama. Then over here we got Brock Lesnar from uh, the Walmart exclusive there and then also the FYE exclusive, the demon Finn Balor. Don't worry about Awesome-O, he's over here kind of randomly just because of space issues basically, but this is my uh, Guardians of the Galaxy section over here. So again, just focusing on the pop figures, you see that I have four different versions of Star-Lord. I got from Volume 2, the Star-Lord Chase, which isn't very much of a chase, a lot of those out there. Then I got the Common Star-Lord, and then from Volume 1, I got the Unmasked Star-Lord and the Common Star-Lord. And I may get Star-Lord with headphones at some point. I think I would like that one. Here's the first 6-inch figure I ever got, which is Thanos, which is pretty awesome. That's not the glow-in-the-dark one. That's just the, the common one. Got the life-size Groot there from Target, which was definitely a nice find. Okay, moving over here, I got the angry Groot, which I found at a Comic-Con. We got there the Groot with the Ravager suit from Volume 2, Walmart exclusive. The Flocked Rocket Raccoon PX Previews exclusive. Got Drax there, the common from the first film, The Collector, Yondu, still waiting on Yondu from Volume 2, hopefully that will happen. Got Kamora there from Volume 1, and then Nebula there from Volume 1. So, yeah, that's all of my Guardians of the Galaxy pop figures. Moving into my Harley Quinn focused corner over here. See all the artwork up there and everything, but again, of course, our focus is on the pop figures. I do have a nice stack of dwarves up here as well, but like I said, we're focusing on the pop figures here. So, got another cut custom by Sherry Stover up here of this Harley Quinn there in the red dress. One of the pops that she made for my birthday. The other one was the custom of me. Okay, so Harley Quinn figures here. We got the black and white Harley Quinn, pink and white Harley Quinn. Okay, we got the uh, Harley Quinn with the mallet. The metallic version. Okay, down here we got the Arkham Knight version of her holding that baseball bat, I think. Uh, yeah, she had the baseball bat over the shoulder. I had to look for a second there. The glow in the dark one. Then we got the one, the roller derby Harley Quinn and Harley Quinn in the nurse's outfit. Okay. So we got some other items over there next to it, but those aren't pop figures. So let me go ahead and get back up here. And I have another DC focused area going on over here starting off with all these Batman figures up top and there's a lot of Batman related figures going on here but of course I'm focusing on the pops again so up here at the very top I have the 8-bit Batman got the uh, Michael Keaton Batman got another custom by Sherry Stover she did a mashup for me of Freddy Funko and Batman Azura and Ra because I could not find that pop figure of Batman, Azura and Ra. Then uh, we got Batman Beyond there, and all of the Impopster figures are over here, including Killer Croc and Joker as Batman. Again, the Loot Crate exclusive. And I'm not going to name off the rest, but you see they are all there. Actually, um, the one I don't have is... I have the Batgirl Harley Quinn. I don't have the Batman Harley Quinn. I wasn't really interested in that one. I thought that was a weird mashup. Okay, so the, the strange outfits of Batman, I think it is, or strange suits of Batman. Got the um, interplanetary Batman, which really fits into that. Then the Target exclusives. So we see Professor Radium. There, the glow-in-the-dark one. 
Golden Midas, North Pole Camel, and Negative Batman. They okay, also have Earth 2 Batman, Earth 1 Batman, really nice outfit there for him. Okay, excuse the glare, please. Batman the Animated Series, I got Robin and Batman there. Okay, so and the rest are on Popsters up there, like I said, so that's all Batman focused up there. Got some random DC going on here on the next shelf. So, see, we got Plastic Man, The Arrow, of course, from the TV series, Flash from the TV series, Nightwing. Got the Armored Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. Also, Carrie Kelly Robin from The Dark Knight Returns. Flock Swamp Thing. Got Reverse Flash. Captain Cole. And Captain Cole was another early pop that I got. Got the Unmasked Arrow, again, from the TV series. Also got this out of box uh, old school Catwoman from Legion of Collectors and Firestorm. They're also out of box. Like I said, I do like to kind of mix things up with my collection. Some things are out of box. Okay, so there's that shelf again. Moving now to the next one. Once again, we got some more Harley Quinn going on here, but uh, also a big focus on Joker. So you see there, we got the uh, classic Joker. Got the Killing Joke Joker. Got the Arkham Knight one. Got the black suit, Walgreens exclusive Joker. I know he's very tough to see back there. Joker with kisses, that's the non-chase version. Then we got Joker from The Dark Knight Returns, which is one of my favorite versions of Joker. Okay. So again, there, there's that shelf. Uh, making my way on down. I'm like a little kid on the floor now trying to show you all these. So we got the classic Superman from Legion of Collectors. Then we got the uh, Superman from The Dark Knight Returns, which is a very awesome version of Superman. Sorry you can't see him super well there, uh, no pun intended. Then from Flashpoint, we got Thomas Wayne Batman, and we got the Martha Wayne Joker. Really nice to have those two together. Got Clark Kent there. Okay, of course, busting out of his shirt, showing the Superman logo. Martian Manhunter. Got the Legion of Collectors Bane, and Legion of Collector Lex Luthor in the armor suit. Got two versions of Scarecrow. We got the Arkham one, then also the Batman the Animated Series version. Okay, all the way here at the bottom, you got some other types of figures, but as far as pops go, we got Man Bat, got Killer Croc from the Arkham series. Then from the Batman 66 series, we have Penguin, King Tut, and Riddler. That's the common Riddler. I'm just letting you see some random items and artwork and everything while I make my way over to my next set. I really like this, this 3D painting up there. A lock, Shock and Barrel from Nightmare Before Christmas. Spawn the Dark Ages figure there. Very cool detailing. Got some Predator action going on. A shadow box with some different items in it. Pins, patches. Yeah, all that stuff's all good there. Some artwork over here that some people should uh, recognize. <laughs> Very cool. Got some vinyl two packs. These are some cool pops here, but if you watch my videos, you know that these are not mine. Just holding them for now. Okay, so moving over here to get to some more pops, we got an animation focus and movie focus over here as well. So you see, obviously, there's a big focus on Bob's Burgers here. Okay, so as far as pops are concerned, we got the box lunch exclusive Tina Belcher. And uh, let me focus on Bob's Burger first, then I'll get to the other ones here. So I have all of the family there. I got Bob and Linda, all the kids down there, Gene, Tina, Luis. Okay, I also have Burger Suit Gene, Beef Squatch Gene. Then we got uh, Teddy down there, Butt Loose Tina. I know it's really dark, but she is over there. Um, okay, so I think that's it for Bob's Burgers. Then we got the black and white Woody from Toy Story. Got the Gold Bender from Futurama. Got this custom that I did. I call it Mecha Cthulhu. So, yeah, I took Cthulhu and gave him a metallic paint job and did some other colors with them. Okay, uh, got Casey Jones there. I really like the look of him so much. I, I keep him out of box as well because he's not going anywhere. Okay, so. Got this German Shepherd there, reminds me of my dog, Radcliffe. Got Mabel Corn Mabel. Again, I know it's kind of dark, kind of tough to see her there. Okay, so, yeah. 
that's that top shelf there okay moving on here we got from Gravity Falls Dipper Pines and Bill Cipher these are the common versions there okay we got Lightning McQueen there the uh, Chrome Lightning McQueen which was a Target exclusive got White Goodman from Dodgeball the dude from the Big Lebowski also um, actually her name escapes me right now the uh, woman there from the Big Lebowski I think it's Maud yeah Maud okay got Jewels from Pulp Fiction and I know this is kind of random but sadness from inside out really I wish I had space for her up top but yeah she has to just kind of sit over there in the corner and she's kind of sad because she's next to Jules and that's scary okay so down here at the very bottom on the floor basically got Batman from Arkham series and I really don't like having pops on the floor but I'm very limited on space so I gotta work that out and get some wall shelves um, got Mace Windu which is Samuel Jackson so that's why I put him next to Jules okay from Boondock Saints we got uh, Murphy McManus then I got my Shaun of the Dead set I got Blood Splatter Shaun, Blood Splatter Dead and Zombie Ed as well okay let's get some Marvel action going now so here at the top of this Marvel bookcase got my Ant-Man figures going on that does include the pops of the glow-in-the-dark Ant-Man black suit Ant-Man got a giant man there from Civil War also got the unmasked Ant-Man with the uh, the tiny little Ant-Man bobblehead in there. Got the Ant-Man on Antony ride, even though I don't have him actually sitting on Antony right now. Okay, so moving down here, some things are blocked a little bit. I got a lot of stuff going on up here. But from uh, Civil War, we got Iron Man, Winter Soldier. Actually got Black Widow sitting back there. Got War Machine. Got Black Panther, Black Panther, excuse me, that's the uh, glitter version of him from Walmart. The Unmasked Black Panther there, the uh, Walgreens exclusive, and also the common Black Panther. Okay, you can see here this black and gold Iron Man, which was a requested custom uh, that Sherry Stover did for me. Got two versions of Captain America there, the common from Civil War, and then also the battle pools from GameStop. Okay, so keeping it moving down a shelf here, got Iron Spider, got that four pack that features uh, Spider-Man, Hawkeye, and then the pocket pops of Captain America and Iron Man, got Falcon from Civil War, got the Metallic Vision, which is pretty awesome looking, especially in the light. Okay, below him, we got Iceman, which is a specialty series figure there, got Thor or Lady Thor, as some people might say. Got the Stealth Suit Spider-Man, Miles Morales Spider-Man. Got the Black Suit Glow in the Dark Spider-Man, Walgreens exclusive there. Also got Professor Xavier here with a different uh, paint job on him to make him look more like uh, James McAvoy. Okay, so moving down to another shelf again, we got Cable and Sabretooth. I definitely want to find a better spot for them so they can be more easily seen because they're kind of hidden here behind the Hulk Buster. He got crossbones there from Civil War. Got the red suit, Daredevil. Got the Netflix Daredevil, the Vigilante Daredevil again from Netflix. There's Matt Murdock back there hiding behind that figure. Okay, got Kingpin back there and Punisher back there as well. Uh, moving down some more. Making my way down to the floor again here. Okay, so we got the Hulk. This is a um, Hot Topic exclusive. That's the Angry Hulk from... Uh, Ultra, uh, Age of Ultron, excuse me. Got Emma Frost over there. Got a metallic painted She Hulk. Over here is also a metallic painted Hulk. Okay. Then I got these three Punisher figures here. I got Punisher um, from the Thunderbolts, uh, Punisher Nemesis, and then also the classic black and white suit Punisher. Okay, all the way here at the bottom and I got rid of a lot of the Deadpool figures I had just because it was kind of overkill and I mean now with the sequel on the way I'm sure I will end up getting some more but I got Deadpool over there with two swords a thumbs up Deadpool right there this is a metallic painted Deadpool over here we got Dr. Octopus got Taskmaster one of my favorite uh, villains got the glow in the dark yellow jacket um, got the classic Iron Man Got Ultron there and Slapstick over there. 
And you can see some more random items on the wall. Not really going to focus on those though because again, keeping it focused here on the pop collection. So this is my horror section here which I actually did preview before in another video. So let me go ahead and run through these. We've got the Demogorgon chase figure, the Pennywise chase figure. Got two versions of Elvira, excuse me, her in her classic outfit and then her in the mummy outfit. Okay, so you got the common Demogorgon, Jack Torrance from The Shining. You got Chucky and Tiffany from Bride of Chucky. That predator over there, that is the clear blood splattered predator. The alien queen is there and I know it's really tough to see her in that box there. I might have to find a spot eventually to take her out of the box. Okay, you got Pennywise with both. That's the common figure. Got the FYE exclusive Pennywise. Got Jason Voorhees, Freddy, Freddy Krueger with the syringe fingers. Got Carrie, Pinhead, the Hot Topic exclusive. Over there is Hannibal Lecter there. Got Norman Bates. There's the common Freddy Krueger. Got the uh, Hot Topic exclusive Jason. Leatherface, Ghostface from Scream. Um, you see also, also here we have Aura with the face hugger from Alien Covenant. Uh, then also over here we have the creature from the Black Lagoon which I do keep out of box as well. Okay, so again, whoop, got some figures falling over here. I'll deal with those real quick. Okay, but this is my horror section over here. And no true believers, we were not done with Marvel yet. So back to Marvel. Got another section over here. So here at the bottom, got Juggernaut, the Walgreens exclusive. Got Blade there. Got Weapon X, of course, Wolverine. Iron Fist in the white and gold outfit. Got the Mark I, Iron Man. Classic Vision. Okay, up here I got that Ghost Rider, Glow in the Dark ride. PX Previews exclusive. Got the hooded Captain Marvel back there, or mask Captain Marvel. Got the World War II era Captain America, which was an Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. Got the unmasked Iron Man from Civil War. Chrome Colossus. Got the Bullseye and Shadowland Daredevil 2-pack from Marvel Collector Corps. From Spider-Man Homecoming, got Tony Stark. Glow in the Dark Vulture. Then we got some Thor Ragnarok figures here. Got the Walmart exclusive Hulk, which um very cheap right now with Walmart. Um, got Gladiator Hulk, Loki and Thor from the Collector Core. Got Hela up there. Grandmaster. The gold version of the Mark I armor. Also Bruce Banner is up there. Those are all Thor Ragnarok figures. Okay, then also Old Man Logan. Conan O'Brien as Spider-Man. Very cool. And the diamond version of Emma Frost. So again, this is my other Marvel section. On to the next case here. Got some more random things up top, including artwork here. But let's keep it focused on the pop figures here. So I'm a Leo, so I got that Freddy Funko Zodiac Leo figure there. Got all of the Venom related figures there, and I love the way that they look out of box together. So that's why I keep them out of box. Okay, got some Freddy Funko figures here, including this mini Hikari with the glitter going on. And then you see the other Freddy Funkos going on here. I really do like the look of these out of box as well. Okay, pretty cool. Down here at the bottom, this is basically a, a video game section. So I got my Doom figures here, which was a great game. Got the Cyber Demon. Then I had these different color variants of the Doom Marine. Funny enough, I still don't have the common Doom Marine yet. Because I think I keep finding it, but not with a good box, though. So that's one I still got to get. Over here, you see we got Nathan Drake from Uncharted. Got Vivek from uh, the Elder Scrolls Morrowind. And that is the glow-in-the-dark figure there. Got Zor from Destiny. Cage 6 from Destiny. And also Atheon as well from Destiny. Got Akuma there from Street Fighter. That's really the only Street Fighter pop I want right now. Let's see. Go ahead and make M. Bison. And then, you know, we got some other figures going on there. But, like I said, keeping the focus on pops. Have arrived, people. This is my last section here of Funko Pop figures. And this is kind of a random section here. 
I just had basically had to find spot, a spot to put these. But uh, got the uh, Mask Predator up there, which I just got. Got another Sherry Stover custom figure there, this Battle Damage Trooper with the black and red paint job. Got Nega Scott, of course, from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Got Goth Stan, Stan from South Park. Okay, got the Flock Bob Ross there. The Happy Happy Joy Joy Ren and Stippy 2 pack. One of my greatest pickups of this year. Got the that thank you, Freddie Funko, the glow in the dark figure for people that voted for the toy of the year, you know, for Funko. And then I think this is really the crown jewel of my collection, this notorious B.I.G. pop figure. Absolutely love it. And um if I ever for some reason gave up on collecting pops and I decided to get rid of my pops, I would still keep this one. Above anything else, I think this is the one I would just have to keep in my collection. So that is my full collection currently. Um, I do have some pop boxes that are behind other pops. Uh, hopefully, I, I tried to go through them and make sure that all those boxes were actually empty. So hopefully, I didn't miss anything. I tried to be thorough with this. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about anything that you saw, you know, definitely let me know down in the comment section. And um, you know, you could even timestamp if you need to to help me help me out with what you're asking about. Because like I said, I just wanted to focus on the pops. And what you're seeing here up on the wall right now, these are, I mean, some other collectibles, obviously, but also letters and uh, cards, postcards, artwork and things that have been sent to me by other YouTubers and then, you know, other viewers as well. So I definitely appreciate these and I do uh, put them up on display. That's just my calendar that keeps me in line. Okay, so I really do appreciate all the support that I've received on my channel, you know, since I've been doing YouTube. And I can understand why some people wanted a collection video, you know, since, uh, especially since I have so many new subscribers, you wanted to get a look at the things that I have. But do remember that this was just me uh, sharing my collection. Um, this is not like a trade video or anything. I just want to uh, share, you know, what I have because people requested it. And, um, you know, I put it out there. If I got a thousand likes on the video, I would make sure that I took care of this. And once that goal was reached, it was reached faster than I expected. Really did love that show of support. So, I was glad to do this. Sorry it took so long. I just had to make sure that I got some things right first. So, yeah, that's going to do it for the collection video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like I said, if you have any questions, um, drop them in the comment section. Timestamps might help me if you're asking about particular items. But, uh, yeah, again, hope you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you all again real soon.